Wednesday is for gratitude. Awesome day. Can't hear you. Oh, shit. Haha. You got to hit the button. Happy Wednesday, y'all. Pump day. Fun day today. Got some whatnot shipping to wrap up. I have a I have the elusive Depop order, and I got a couple orders on eBay as well. Thanks for hanging out. Got the mic figured out. What's up, Amy? Kim and I pounded out most of the whatnot orders last night. Thanks to everybody who came over to whatnot and supported me. That was good, clean fun. Mother Nature shows here. Amy's here. Yes, on sound. How'd the show go? Show went good. I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. Ran into some snags getting it set up last minute, but we're going to make some changes, I think, this week to the to my Tuesdays to make things a little bit smoother for me and maybe smoother for everybody. Top of the morning to you. What's up, Chemo? Katie BT Dubs, thanks for your order last night. Got you packed up already. What's up, Brianne? Tell me more. Well, y'all know how I do the live thrift every Tuesday, 1 p.m. Well, sometimes I get a lot of stuff during that live thrift, and it makes setting up for the show a little hectic. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put more weight on, um, I'm going to have more items preloaded and less items that I have to add the day of. Just makes it a little crazier. So I'll really focus on like home run items on the Tuesday. I won't just like kind of fill up on fun stuff. I'll try to get like really good stuff. If it's not good, then I won't make it in, you know? So just make Tuesday a little bit smoother for me. So I have some breathing room. Gotta fix this thing. The coffee is delicious this morning and much, very necessary. I'm always tired on Wednesdays. I work a lot on Tuesday. I was surprised how late you were thrifting yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was about the, maybe a half hour later than usual. But then I, I was at, you didn't see me. I was at the thrift store for longer than that because I was trying to authenticate all those Rothies I found before I left the store. But then I realized I wasn't going to get my answer while I was in the store. So uh, I just sort of, I said, look, I'm just going to buy all these Rothies. They have a seven day return policy. So I'll figure out how to authenticate them some other time. And, uh, if they're not real, I'll return them uh, within a seven-day window. So. so that took me some time. I was trying to get it right. I I sent some people some, like I got had some voice talks with some, or some video talks with a couple people and was trying to like get their opinion on things, but they're either real or they're really good fakes, but turns out there's a lot of good, really good fakes out there. Love to see y'all talking to each other. Speaking of whatnot, I know someone... With 160, you're doing 160 items tonight and you're giving away a bag of peak. That's sick. If you're not following buried treasure, I don't know what the D's for, but follow him here. He's got a whatnot tonight. 160 items. Is that real life? Are you going to do all sudden death on those? Stop. <laughs> Mom's in the house. Stop chitty chatty. You get, did you change your screen name, mom? I'm super confused. Do you have multiple accounts? Is this your burner account, mom? D is for Delaware. <laughs> Is real life, and I'm not sure. I think you got to be doing a lot of sudden death. One sick. So I did 58 auctions last night. It took us 55 minutes, but every single one was sudden death. 20 second sudden death. So if you did 160, you could just triple that. So that would be basically three hours uh, if you did all 20 second sudden death. This is TikTok. It is. <laughs> it is, mom. You're doing great. Uh, are y'all still in um, Georgia? My, my parents are coming up to visit. They're coming up today. They're on their way. Nowhere near as cool as Jason's, whatnot. Mine is tonight as well. What time is yours, Sarah? What time? Jason, I think yours is 8.30. Sarah is at some time. Should make the coffee a one of one Berry D coffee. There you go. I can't say Berry D's name without saying Berry D9. Nine central time, so it's at 10. Okay, so you'll be like after... Um, after uh, Barry D. Nice, man. So you're going to be on to like, if you do 20 seconds sudden death on 160 items, you're going to be on for about three hours. Leaving Byron soon. Cool. I'll have to look up where Byron is. When, when do y'all think you're going to get in? Um, I'm supposed to go look at a, at a house that's off market today with Trace at three. Okay. 
did they sell take set to thrift store? Yeah, yeah. In this case, it wouldn't have been like because they were being evil. Uh, they would they would either be these are either real or really good fakes. So they would they wouldn't know any better. If I couldn't authenticate them in the store, I'm telling you that the thrift store people aren't going to be able to. Three to four. Okay, cool. I'll probably be back around four ish or something. Do you do? I do do. I do international shipping on eBay, Grailed, and Depop. You can't do it on Mercari. You can't do it on Poshmark. All right, let's get into some orders here. Uh, two eBay orders, but one of them is a three pack. By the way, my TikTok shop is open. If you put in an order uh, in TikTok shop uh, during the live, we'll go ahead and pack it up in the live. Just let me know. I don't know if I get notifications when people do it. Maybe I do. Yeah, just let me know if you go over to the TikTok shop. People are getting crazy deals over there. Um, TikTok sponsoring like coupons for people and they're different for different people. So you can get a thrifting with my cardio haul bag, this big 13 gallon haul bag here on the wall. We fit 31 shirts on this or 31 clothing items, including shirts, jeans, jackets, sweatshirts, hoodies, all that kinds of stuff. We fit 31 items in this bag on a live last week. Some people were showing me that you can get that for 40% off and free shipping craziness coffee is available and the fresh coffee is low t-shirts are available there you go you know the deal fresh coffee is low and we also have two roasts of coffee roasted fresh every thursday fair trade organic we have the peak season which is a light roast this is the last of the summer seasonal light roast and then we have the the medium roast the og that i will always carry so that's in the TikTok shop if you want to check that out. People are getting crazy, crazy deals. Some people get 20% off. Some people get 25. Some people get 40. It has nothing to do with me. It's just TikTok doing that. They're trying to push it. They want to get people used to using TikTok shop for so for a short period of time. They're offering screaming deals. How do you still have bags and stock? People sleep on reusable bags. That's right. I forgot to load them in or whatnot last night. That didn't help. Barry D is at 90 bookmark. That's nice. Good morning, South Tejas. South Tejas and Kimo are in the house. Okay, let's ship out a Depop order. This came in overnight, an elusive Depop order. You already know I don't pick up this brand in all sizes. It is king size. I typically pick up king size in size 3XL and larger, but this was a, a plain white shirt, and sometimes I do better with these. Uh, this sold for full asking price, $23 plus six, uh, $22 plus $6 shipping over there on Depop. I paid $5 for it at the thrift store. It took a little while to sell. I think I picked it up last October. So it isn't exactly a fast seller. But that's an interesting Depop sale. Depop's usually like vintage, unique stuff that kids buy. King size is a big and tall brand. Let's get this shipped out. Not it. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, the, some people, they changed it. I don't know. TikTok. I talked to them like 35 minutes on a live chat on Saturday, and they assured me that everything was free shipping. And the only products in my store were under $20. So they assured me everything was free shipping. They were covering it. That I pay for the shipping, they will reimburse me, but the buyer won't pay for shipping. So they assured me that. And now it's only if you pay $20 or more. So get yourself a bag of coffee, get yourself a thrifting as my cardio bag, put them both in there over 20 bucks. You'll get free shipping. And who knows what percentage off did you get? 40% off. That's sick. I think most, if not all people get free shipping. Yeah. That's what we're gathering over the last couple of days, but that's not what they told me in the live chat. And I only had coffee loaded in at the time. So that's 1499. So I was really clear with them. I was like, all right, how is this going to work out? I got the coffee in there. How's the shipping going to work out? They said free shipping. I'm like, really? Everyone's going to get free shipping? Like, I assure you that everybody's going to get free shipping. All right. But here we are. So spend $20 or more. You get free shipping and 40% off. That's crazy. Get you a bag. Get you a bag of coffee. You'll be good to go. Some people will get 20% off. Some people will get 25. Some people will get 40% off. Jeez. Brian, you're getting a good deal, and now you want an even better deal? <laughs> I'll take a look at it. I don't know. 
Silly, silly. It's, you know, it's, it's new. So TikTok's still working up the kinks. Did the green North face hoodie go every, yeah, everything, everything started out of buck last night or whatnot. So everything sells. I've never not had an item sell because as long as somebody bids a dollar, it's, uh, it's sold. That's the fun of the game. Well, it's fun for y'all that part. All right. All right. All my orders from Depop, I ship over on Pirate Ship. So just copying and pasting that shipping address from Depop over in a Pirate Ship right now. Good morning, Sean. How are you? Thanks for popping in over on Facebook. Remember, we're live every morning, weekday morning, 9.30 a.m. on YouTube, Facebook, and TikTok. Your choice. So this is going out at an eight-ounce rate. What did the hoodie sell for? Uh, I'd have to double check it. I'd have to double check it. 30 something maybe? To get people to that 20, they need some stickers, Crispy, to be used as a filler. Your opinion has been noted, Vanessa. Good morning, Tina. How are you? It's not going to be 100 again in Canada today, is it? In Canada, America's hat. Pretty close. Dang. I haven't looked at the weather yet here today. Uh, right now it's 74. High is going to be 87. That's freaking warm for this time of year. I'm going to have words with Mother Nature. Thank you, Valerie. That shipping label on that king size shirt cost me $4.15. We'll go plug that into Jason Hayes' spreadsheet here. If you need a spreadsheet for your business, by the way, I have a link in my profile for that. It gets you 10% off using the discount code THANKSCHRIS10. If you forget everything I just said, just go in the bio, look for the thing that says spreadsheet, and uh, it'll show you what the discount code is. All right, so I picked up that shirt for five dollars at the thrift store. That was October twenty fourth of twenty twenty two. It sold on Depop. It took three hundred and seventeen days. The buyer paid full asking price twenty two dollars plus six dollars shipping. After shipping fees, cost of goods, that'll be fifteen dollars and seventy one cents profit on that shirt. Pretty good. Took it forever though. Makes sense to mark them up. Brianna, are you just going with the idea? Like if you if you repeat it like four or five times, eventually I'll just agree. <laughs> What's up, Delka? St stickers are next on my list to order. Nice, Vanessa. Ordered from TikTok shop. Got t-shirt in a bag for 27. See, Sarah, just change your name. Sarah Calegas Midwest Thriftology. That's like a that's a bit. I didn't know you could do a name that long. That's awesome. Um, see, everyone else is complaining about me having me raise the price of my item. But Sarah just goes in and gets it done. She just got it done. She saw her deal. She got herself a t-shirt. She got herself a bag. Boom. It's that easy. What did you get? Uh, you got $27 total. That's crazy. The t-shirt alone costs 25 bucks. So you got a t-shirt and a bag and free shipping for 27. It's crazy. What is the minimum wage per hour for someone in America? What's the minimum wage now, y'all? Is it like $7.50 or $8.50 or something like that? It de it depends. Some some states and municipalities have different um minimum wage. So there's a, a federal minimum wage, but then the states can have one that's higher than that. I was just going to change the business name, but then I feel like it would confuse people. Gotcha. I like the Sarah Calegas Midwest Thriftology. Thriftology is like a science. TikTok changed mine to the long one when I added TikTok shop. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. People get upset about that. It's 725. When I was uh, first started working, it was $4. Well, yeah, it was 420, 460, 415. It was four something. And then they raised it to like 460. And then they raised it to like, I don't know. I forget what they did after that. But yeah, it's low. Nobody pays. I mean, you can't hire somebody for that rate. I pre bid 
to try and grab some deals. Appreciate that, Cruz and Dan. I hope you're well. So just grab me a second bag on TikTok. I believe total was twelve fifty nine. That's awesome, Karen. Thank you. We'll get some we'll get some orders out on TikTok shop right now. Do I get notifications for that? How does this work? It's new to me. Yep, we got a couple order notifications. Why did that not like make noise? There we go. All right, let's go over to TikTok shop. Let's get some orders out over there. We got some whatnot orders. We got eBay orders. We got one Depop order, but that's out the door. And we got TikTok shop orders. Let's refresh this. Yeah. So as always, if you order at chris at peak.com or you order from the TikTok shop, we'll get you shipped out right during the live with a big dose of gratitude and a thank you card. What's the minimum wage out there in, um, in uh, England? And like, could you do the conversion for dollars for me? I'm too lazy for that. Pounds to dollars. All right. We got an order uh, for Karen. Thank you so much, Karen. I appreciate your support. This is the second I already shipped out your whatnot package. So I've got two packages going out the door for my friend, Karen. Thank you. Looks like Karen got a bag. Uh, thrifting is my cardio haul bag. Nice. Thank you so much. $11 and 40 cents. That was total payment. $11 and 40 cents. These are $19 plus shipping on my website, but steals and deals right now on TikTok shop. I don't know how long they'll be offering these like crazy coupons. I think they're just trying to like get people used. Like, I think their thought process is like get everybody to get their first order on TikTok shop. They get a screaming deal. They realize that it works. They got it delivered. They're happy with it. So they'll, that they'll buy a second time. Just get people used to it. Get people comfortable with it. You know, especially I imagine there's a lot of folks out there that are pretty uncomfortable with TikTok, right? There's all these, uh, Remember like Congress or whatever was trying to get TikTok banned. They banned it in Montana, I think, or something. So I think there's a lot of people who are just like nervous about TikTok. They still think it's that platform where people just, you know, it's like it's kids dancing and that's all it is. They don't realize that this is a, a platform where people are using to grow their businesses, promote their businesses, uh, build communities, build friendships, all that stuff. They don't see it as that. Probably a lot of the... I mean, I'm just going to say it. It's probably a lot of like older folks that are nervous about TikTok, all that Chinese spying stuff that everyone is so worried about. So TikTok shop doing what they can to get people comfortable, get people streaming deals on stuff, whatever. You know what I mean? Happy to snag that second bag. Love my bag. Thanks, flipping nurse. 1010 Ohio. It's $10 and 10 cents is the minimum wage in Ohio. If you're still wondering, Mother Nature show. The bags are nice. Well worth it. Thank you, Kimo. Appreciate that support. What are the profits for whatnot versus time invested doing now that you've done a bunch? Um, not really sure how to answer that question only because I haven't done a great job of tracking my profits on there. Um, I'm really focused on long-term on that platform and I've only done 11 shows. So I'm a baby on that platform and it's about building out a following on there and building up a reputation and, getting things figured out. So for me, I don't know. I can't answer that question. I'm not dodging it, Nick. I just don't know. Right now, my goal isn't to make necessarily make a ton of profit on whatnot. My goal right now is to build up the following, to get good at it, to try some things out, to break some things so that the future can be bright. I think you probably get that. Fair enough. Yeah. But I mean, I'm, I move inventory, man. I've got over I'm closing in on 800 total sales on whatnot. And I started on July 11th. It's September the 6th. All right. Still figuring out this uh, TikTok shop platform. So I got to go to more action. How do I print this out? Should be easy. One item awaiting shipment. Got it. So where's the ship button? I guess I got to go back to this other screen. You can't print from the order details screen. Makes a ton of sense. I got to do it here. Create label. So they're charging me six ninety five for shipping on this. Why the heck is it? How many bags did you order? Just one. Did you, did you only order one bag? Not only. Karen, did you order one bag or more than one? 
it says one bag 0.49 pounds, but it's making me go priority mail on this. So 695 priority mail. When I shipped out three bags of coffee yesterday, that was two pound, 2.75 pounds. It went ground advantage. So this is costing me almost as much as that like three pound ground advantage label. They say they're going to reimburse me for it anyway, but we'll see it. We'll see what happens. But 695 is a lot to ship a bag. Yeah, it's fine. I, I think they're going to, I think they're, they say they're going to reimburse me. The coffee that Teej gifted and whatnot is going quick. It's really good. That's awesome, Marnie. How nice is Teej, by the way? How nice is Teej? West Coast, thank you for the follow. Welcome aboard. And thanks to everybody for whether you've been following me for a couple days and you keep coming back for more, or you've been following me for a couple years and you're coming back for more, or like Nick Smith. Nick Smith been following me for three years. Isn't that crazy? Print shipping labels. Okay. Generating documents. All right, Karen, we got this printed out for you. Now, I don't know how this works. I don't know. Let me know. Do you have like a shipping confirmation in your inbox with a tracking number? Or how does this, do you have a notification in TikTok? How does this work? Help me out here. Either way, I appreciate your purchase. Thanks for buying a bag. You get a screaming deal, $11.40. Did ask for my mail. I'll check. Thank you. Where is your TikTok shop? You go to my bio and you click the word that says shop. London minimum wage is $10.42, which is $13.60. Let's go. Let's go. Wow. That's, that's pretty high compared to here. All right, let's get another order. Sarah's got an order. How do I look at the order? Cool. Okay, so we got drifting is my card or sorry, we have a um, fresh coffee is love t shirt going out to my friend Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. Fresh coffee is love, and we got a thrifting is my cardio bag going out. Little two pack. So all together, this is gonna cost. Let's click here again. Twenty seven dollars all day, free shipping. The t shirt itself. This would be twenty six bucks on my website. And you're going to get for $27, you're going to get a $19 bag included with it. And the shipping is free. That's crazy. Screaming deals on TikTok shop. Thank you, Sarah. Little handwritten thank you card there for you. Thanks for supporting my tiny little business. And how are they wanting this shipped? Got an order over on chrisatpeak.com. Thank you so much. We'll get you shipped out in just a second here. So this is going priority mail, even though it's under a pound. So I don't know why they're doing that. Why are these ones priority mail? This should be going ground advantage for like three dollars cheaper but they're going priority go figure i can't figure out this tiktok shop yet but supposedly they're going to reimburse me for all these shipping labels so go into 1655 canada on october 1st which is 12 20 us dollars that seems like a uh, smart move. Are people pretty, uh, in Canada, are people pretty, I don't know, in support of that idea or are people angry about it or TikTok shot usually gives you a tracking notification, but it takes a day or so to update. Gotcha. So I wonder, um, and we'll see if Karen says, I got an order confirmation email, but no shipping confirmation email. Yeah. I don't think, you, 
my gut tells me that you're not going to get it until it gets scanned as picked up by the carrier. And then there's usually like a couple hour delay on top of that. But that, yeah, be curious if you let me know if you happen to take note of when you get that email, that would help me out. Just kind of give me an eye, an idea as we learn this new platform together. Let me know when you get that confirmation. My mail person will probably be here today at like, uh, it depends, between one and four. Depends on who it is. One guy comes early, the other people come around four. So thank you, Sarah Hull. Your order is shipped. I appreciate you. We got another... Oh, we got two more. Thank you so much, Delta and Flippin' Kim. We got two more orders over on TikTok shop here. And we have one over at chrisatpeak.com. So we'll push through all these. I appreciate y'all. I'm fascinated by the deals that y'all are getting. So Delka got two items, a bag of coffee and a thrifting is my cardio haul bag. All together, $20.39. The bag itself is a $19 bag plus shipping on my website. So tip, uh, shipping's like $5. So it's like 24 bucks on my website. And Delka just got the bag and a bag of coffee, which is a $15 bag of coffee for $20.39 all in shipped. Those are the types of coupons that TikTok is giving out right now. That's crazy. They are my new bins bags. I love it. Fill them up. Get your steps in, Kim. I got an order from Sarah K last week and her last name equals my street name. Well, that's crazy. That's crazy. Going up from 15.50, so a nice increase to the minimum wage. Nice. Thank you, Karen. Appreciate it. Just trying to learn the new platform. Felix is here. What's up, Felix? Appreciate the heart me and stuff. Where is your TikTok shop? You found it. Flip the nurse, you found it. All right, let's get this label here. So we got a bag of whole bean medium roast. Uh, Delka, I'm going to ship this order tomorrow. So I'm going to order, uh, I'm out of the whole bean medium roast but they're roasting it uh, literally tomorrow morning. Um, so I'll ship out your order tomorrow with your thrifting is my cardio bag. If that's cool with you, it kind of has to be cool because I don't have any. I literally just took the, we opened the last bag today. Kim was like, we're out of coffee. So I charged her 15 bucks. You opened your bag, but you'll get about the freshest coffee that you can possibly get. We'll ship that out tomorrow for you. Delka, appreciate your order. I'm in stock of, I think of everything else, coffee. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I'm in stock of everything else. I just don't have the whole bean medium roast right now. I have whole bean light roast. And I can ship the whole bean light roast if you want that. Or we can just ship the medium roast tomorrow for your call. What's up, JT? JT in the house. Are you wearing a uh, tank top? We sold a couple of tank tops on whatnot last night. I was thinking about you, buddy. I think I got another tank top in stock that I'm excited about. Let's see. Where is it? Another tank top in stock. There's a JT special right here. Well, it's a little Harley piece, JT. On the back, it says, Dylan Brothers, Harley Davidson, Omaha, Fremont, Nebraska. Look at that. That's a size uh, something. Remember the time they put sizes on shirts? That was cool. I don't know what size. Oh, it's a 2X. 2X. Anytime I see a tank top, I just think of JT Entertains. Dude crushes tank tops every morning. Tomorrow, the medium roast. You got it. Oh, snap. It is a 2X, yeah. Thank you for the heart me, Barry D. Excited to have one to give away tonight. Sick. That's awesome. All right. We got another order. Flippin' Kim has got herself a thrifting is my cardio bag. She bought it on TikTok shop and $19 free shipping. It looks like $19 free shipping. Is that right? How did that work out? I love how everyone gets different prices. No rhyme or reason to it. Deals for everyone. Yeah. $19. Free shipping. Not bad. I 
Thanks, Flippin' Kim. Kind of like saying Flippin' Kim, like, ah, uh, Flippin' Kim. This is going priority. I'm not sure why. I wonder if I can change it. Why is it charging me for priority? Oh, I can do ground advantage. I can change it. Cool. That seems to make more sense. You don't need to get this in two days for an extra $3 shipping. All right, let's uh, buy one shipping label. Well, it's good to know I can change it. I don't know why I would default to priority when it's a half a pound. Craziness, craziness, but that is good. That's good news, I can change that. Open Kim, you've got like 20 handwritten thank you cards from me. Now you're gonna have 21. Morning, Brant. Hope you're well. What's new? Y'all, it's Wednesday. How's the week going? How's the week going? Are you moving towards your goals? I want to hear about it. How's the week going? Is it going as planned? Or have things gone sideways? I'm collecting them all. That's awesome. Kim, you're going to have another one. What's today? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You know how long it usually takes. You'll probably get this Friday, maybe Saturday. You know how many days it usually takes. Better than I do. 93 whatnot bookmarks for Barry D. Let's get him to 100, y'all. Click on Barry D's name. Click on his link for his whatnot. Let's go bookmark tonight's show. That helps him out a lot. He's going to run 160 items. I don't know how he's going to do it, but he's going to do it. And I guarantee you that you will laugh at least 17.3 times tonight. That's the over under 17. Carrier picking up four packages on Saturday, but still no update on tracking, stressed out a bit. Carrier picked up four packages on Saturday and it's Wednesday. What happened is that those packages probably didn't get scanned at your post office at all and they went straight out. So they're probably gonna get a scan at one of the next locations. It's still been, I mean, remember there was no shipping on Monday, so it really it isn't as long as it seems. It wasn't going anywhere Sunday, it wasn't going anywhere Monday, so it wasn't gonna get any scans. So if anything, I would have got a scan yesterday. But, so it's only really been, you know, a day. You'll probably be fine. Quit stressing over there, you'll be good. Is he going to run everything five seconds of sudden death? I told him the math. I told him that my show last night, which is the fastest show that we've ever ran, was 58 items in 55 minutes. So if he wants to do 160, and everything was 20 seconds sudden death. So if he wants to do 160 with 20 seconds sudden death, he's looking at a three-hour show. So he, he'll figure it out. He's good at maths. Enjoy today. In fact, enjoy every day. You wake up. No one is guaranteed tomorrow. That's right. Mother Nature show always like just on it. Thank you with that good stuff. Fingers crossed. I really hope so. They're just scanned as picked up. They're all just scanned as picked. Oh, they're scanned as picked up. Well, that's good. That's better than nothing. That's good that you got a pickup scan. I wouldn't, because of the holiday, I wouldn't stress about it. My postal worker yesterday, he got here at like five o'clock and he's like, sorry, buddy, that I'm so late. He, when he picks up here, he's here at one. He's like really early. He's really fast. He starts early. So for him to be here at five, he's like, man, one day off and you just get so backed up. He's like, it's crazy. So I imagine everybody at the post office is feeling that same way. You know, like every single employee that works is probably like, what the heck? Overwhelmed, all that stuff. All right, let's go back to TikTok shop here. All right, cool. So we got an order going out to... My friend, Huntress. Let's create this label. This is Hunter, I think. Create label. It's defaulting. Let's see this one defaulted to ground advantage. There's no rhyme or reason to it yet. So thank you, Hunter. One thrifting is my cardio bag going out the door. How much did you get it for? It's not telling me on the screen because of reasons. We don't have thrift stores here. What do you call them, like charity shops or something? Thank you for the Panda South Texas. Appreciate that. Thanks, everyone, for tapping the screen. 4.4 thousand likes. That's awesome. 
Biggie Sales is here with the music plays. Thank you, buddy. You out thrifting this morning? They are getting fantastic deals. Yeah, let's see what the what kind of deal that Hunter got here. Let's see what kind of deal Hunter got. Wish I could just see it from the screen, but yes, small charity shops got it. I imagine like people are probably pretty big into fast fashion over there in England too. It can't be that much different. Us Americans tend to be pretty fast fashion. Nine dollars and fifty cents total. Nine fifty. So literally fifty percent off plus free shipping on this. Going to Hunter down and my friend down in St. Pete. Hunter spent the summer with her family up here in Western North Carolina, but they're back in St. Pete. We call them halfbacks. They move down to Florida, then they come halfway back for the summer times, or they move permanently back for, but halfbacks. Thanks, Hunter. Good morning, Missy. Eric got some great deals yesterday. That's awesome. I'm glad to hear that. Glad to hear it. Hunter, you'll probably get this on Saturday. haven't checked out TikTok shop, it's a great opportunity to get coffee or a thrifting is my cardio bag for a screaming deal. They're handing out like coupons for 20% off, 25% off, 40% off. And this one right here was 50% off. So the haul bag for $9.50. That's crazy. Missy, how are you? What's good? I buy bundles of items off eBay and break them down and put them back on eBay. Super smart. I love that. People buy at car boot sale. Cars pull in fields and sell everything from their boots. Is that what the idea is? You sell everything from their, your boots, like meaning like you're standing up. Is that what I always wondered what car boot meant? I watch, I follow some girl who crushes it at car boot sales, and I was like, what does car boot mean? It's fascinating to me. Looks like kind of like a move, like a roaming pop up flea market kind of thing. Got my bag yesterday. Thanks, Sheila. I'm glad you'll love it. That's awesome. Very cool. Thanks, everyone, for tapping the screen. 4.7K likes. If everybody taps the screen just like 10 times, there's like 40 people over here on TikTok. If you tap the screen like 10 times, it'll like skyrocket that likes thing and it will wake up the algorithm here a little bit. And that helps me out. I appreciate it. You can also say something down below in the chat like, hi, and that helps out too. If you haven't liked and subscribed over there on Facebook and YouTube, that helps me out too. If you hit the like button, just helps me grow car trunk sale. There you go. Thanks everyone. I see you all tapping the screen. I see you Katie, by the way, I see you Valerie Zook. Hi Valerie. Groovy grabs. This is how I can tell like who's lurking in the background and not talking and who's here. Thank you for workers too. Laura's here too. Thank you for tapping the screen. Ordinary mom is here. Laura is still tapping. Thank you. Watts for sale today. Nice. I like that name. It lets me know who's lurking. Farm girl. Thank you. Eric. Thank you. Thanks for tapping the screen. Can find you or anyone. Uh, same name over on Whatnot. I have a link in my profile straight to Whatnot if you want us to go that way. There's also a link if you haven't joined Whatnot for $15 off your first purchase, which is a, a nice deal. All right. I think we're caught up there. Let's flip over. We got an order over on chrisatpeak.com. Let's go back over here. Can't. Can find gotcha. Did that help what I just shared, Opal? My tippers are tapping. Let's go, chat. Thank you, Brian. I appreciate you. Wow, Re really quick. We got up to 5.7, 5.8. It's like a thousand likes in like 30 seconds. Appreciate y'all. 
All right, we got an order from, wait for it. Yes, like a flea market, cool. Portable flea market, I like it. We got an order of Peak Blend Medium Roast, the regular grind going out to Ricky. Thank you so much, Ricky. Get you a bag of fresh coffee. I'll get this straight out the door for you. It's going to California. It's going to, you probably have this on Monday, would be my guess. Monday or Tuesday. Super fresh coffee. Heading out to Ricky. Thanks for supporting my small business. It's fair trade. It's organic. It's delicious. Ricky, let me know if you're if you're live right now on one of the platforms. Just say Ricky in the chat so we know it's you. How do you get into coffee? That's an interesting story. So I've been doing this live uh, on TikTok uh, every weekday morning since the first week in November. I think November the 2nd. And then we started restreaming it, I think, in March onto the other platforms, so YouTube and Facebook. Maybe that was April. I forget. And somebody at some point said, you should have your own coffee. I'm like, that's preposterous. That's ridiculous. Hey, Ricky, thank you so much for your order. Flipping Rick. We got you a filter, got the regular drip grind, the medium grind, and the medium roast. Is that right? We'll get you shipped right out. So yeah, somebody said, that's crazy. Or I said, that's crazy. I'm not doing coffee. Like who has their own coffee? How does anyone do this? I reached out to our favorite roaster here, our favorite coffee company, uh, Dynamite Roasting. It's been a long time our favorite. When we lived here in Nashville before, it was our favorite too. Reached out to them. And they were like, yeah, we can, yeah, we can get you set up with your own private label coffee. Let's talk about it. So talked about it and it ended up being way easier than I thought. They're a great partners to work with. We're going to head down there tomorrow, by the way, we're going to do a live over there. You can meet my parents too, if you want to join that live. And uh, yeah, we just set it up and y'all been super supportive. So we launched the medium roast in April. And then we launched the light roast in August and um yeah, now we're going to actually tomorrow, the big announcement is that the light roast, it's a seasonal light roast. So every season there's a different light roast. Right now it's the Bolivian summer light roast. But tomorrow we're launching the fall light roast. So the summer light roast is going bye-bye. Last week was the last time we roasted that. And we're going to welcome in the fall Honduran, which I'm really excited about. So we're going to go up to Dynamite tomorrow. We'll do a live stream. I don't know what time we're going to do that yet. But when I know, I'll let you know. Good, clean, fun. You'll get to hear about the family that grows the beans that has had a relationship with the with the folks from Dynamite for, I think, like 12 years. But you'll learn more tomorrow. I'll learn more tomorrow. And uh, they come up and the, that family comes up and visits here in, in the Black Mountain area, Asheville area. And uh, they the folks from Dynamite, Andy, goes down and, and spends time with them usually every year, too, in Honduras. So. Uh, it's a special, special coffee to the folks over at Dynamite because uh, of the relationship with the farmers. So, Ricky, I'm going to get your coffee out, though. All this chitty chat, you know. That's so cool, yeah. When I say, like, you know, fair trade, sometimes we just kind of gloss over, like, fair trade. Like, what does that even really mean? But it means that. No, you know, the organic is the beans are t well taken care of. I think people understand what organic is, right? But then the fair trade is the people who take care of the beans are taken care of. And in this case, you're talking about really close relationships with a small farmer in an area, you know, in Honduras, coffee is grown in, in rural areas. So in the tropics, high humidity, warm places that are also high altitude too. And these places tend to be, not tend to be, they're like almost unilaterally uh, rural, low-income places with not a lot of opportunity. So some of these big coffee companies, they don't have relationships with farmers. What they're doing is they're sourcing coffee beans from a whole bunch of different farms. And they're just paying commodity rates for these things. So which means they're paying as little money as they possibly can for the beans. And it's not single source. It's so beans, beans from a whole bunch of different farms that are put into one you know, roaster roast it up, put it into one bag. It's not single source stuff. This is single single source or single origin coffee. It's coming from one farmer. So that means the fair trade means that farmer has been well taken care of. It's not commodity pricing. And these people that otherwise don't have a lot of opportunity other than coffee can actually live a decent life. And I think that that's really important. If you read about the coffee industry, you'll realize that, uh, yeah, there's some not so awesome stuff going on. Coffee 
is good. But fresh coffee that is uh, this fair trade, that's love right there. I mean, it's literally love. So you're going to learn a little bit more about this, uh, this family that own, the, you know, the farmers from Honduras to create the light roast. It's the fall light roast. That'll be tomorrow. We'll be live. I'll be live just on TikTok for that one. To restream, I need to bring my laptop and all that kind of stuff. And it's just a mess. I'll break it. Yeah. The peak folks coming in tomorrow too. Coffee is good, but fair trade is better. That's right. Some of those off other coffee brands are paying commodity pricing. That stuff that you're seeing in your grocery store. It's not single source. The beans are coming from all different places. They don't know the names of the farmers that are that are growing the coffee beans and stuff. They don't go visit the farm. They aren't tasting this coffee, right? Going down there, flying down there, tasting and hand selecting, like which you know, choosing which farms they want to work with. That's not happening. Is there Christmas coffee? There like cinnamon and sugar. Yeah, we do have some of that stuff for sure. I am going to Dynamite tomorrow. I just don't know what time yet. They tend to be like, a, it's a really small business. I think there's 15 total employees. They tend to be very last minute about things. They're like, yeah, just uh, text me in the morning. I mean, this is a small business we're supporting. They're like, text me in the morning and uh, we'll, we'll knock out a time and we'll make it happen. So that's what we're going to do tomorrow. <laughs> I'll bring the parents up too. They'll love it. We're gonna, we love going to Black Mountain. They're going to love Black Mountain. We'll probably go to my favorite lunch spot up there too. Probably go to Trailhead. Ricky, coffee's on the way. You got a shipping confirmation in your inbox, brother. Appreciate you. Flipping Rick with the coffee order. Thanks, brother. All right. Gracias. De nada. All right. Let's, I think I got another TikTok shop order. Thanks so much, y'all. Visited coffee farmers in Puerto Rico after Hurricane Maria. Hardest working and resilient people. Yeah, that's awesome. That must have been a cool experience. We got Ashberg's in with an order. She's got three items. A fresh coffee is love t-shirt. Let's get you the right size. Yeah. So this is an order over on TikTok shop. I'm almost scared to look at how good of a deal. Uh how good of a deal that Ashberg got. Thank you, Ashley. All right. We got you your fresh coffees. Love tea. Thanks so much. Good thing is my cardio bag. You're going to be outfitted here. Good thing is my cardio. And we got a light roast whole bean. Y'all, I only have three bags left after this of the light roast from the summer. We're going to be launching the fall one tomorrow. So thank you so much. Ashley, you rock. So let's see what they want to do for a shipping label on this. Ground advantage, okay. 40% off, that's awesome. And free shipping, right? 40% off and free shipping. I'll look at the total here in a second. Let me buy this label for this up. As always, if anybody orders anything at chrisatpeak.com or you go into my new TikTok shop and you get a screaming deal, either 20, 25, 40, 50 percent off. Some people are getting we just printed one out or just shipped one out that was 50 percent off. This one's 40 percent off. TikTok is trying to drum up business on their new TikTok shop platform. So they're throwing money at it. Thank you, Ashley. This is two orders going out to Ashley this morning. The other one I packed up last night, Kim and I tag teams, the, uh, uh, the whatnot packages. I got like, we got 90% of them done last night. We still got a few to do today. Get you a handwritten thank you card here. Thanks for all your support, Ashley. Excuse me. Means a lot to me. Means a lot. Any medium? Yep. Uh, I have medium ground in stock. Yep. I'm out of stock of the medium whole bean, but it's going to be in stock tomorrow. So you can still order it. Um, it'll just ship tomorrow instead of today. So 
So don't you fret. I have everything available. Put in my order today right after this live with them. They'll roast it tomorrow morning. I'm actually going to be up there tomorrow and pick it up. The bags might be still warm when I get there. They were warm the last time I went up there. Oh, wait a minute. We're going to put this in a... Here's what's going to happen. I just figured it out. Ashley, we got the light roast whole bean going on. That's right. Got thrifting into my cardio bag yesterday. Love it. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support. It's so fun for me knowing that y'all got these haul bags. Sometimes thrifting is all we can get, have time for, for the cardio. I get you. And we'll get a 12 by 15 bag. Need to order some more 12 by 15. Ashley, got you. Cool. Got you. Got you. Got you. I'm going to look at your total on that. I haven't looked at that yet. These totals are blowing my mind. It's just so cheap. And TikTok's fitting the bill on these discounts. So when you see 40% off, that's not me giving you 40% off. I can't afford to do that. I would lose money on these orders if this was 40% off out of my pocket. TikTok shop stepping to the plate. And they're giving some people 20% off, some people 25, some people 40% off, some people 50% off, which is crazy. So three items, a bag of coffee, a thrifting is my cardio bag, and a fresh coffee is love t-shirt. All together, $38.99 shipped. Um, that's a wild price. 40% off. Thanks so much. I need another bin here. Let me just put this here. Right now. Good morning, Ruth. Ruth, did I see you live yesterday? Sorry, I run around like a lunatic on Tuesdays. I thought I saw you live. I was going to pop in, but I just couldn't. I was trying to get the show set up. Tuesday is a whirlwind tour for me. Did I see you live? Nice. Sorry, I missed you. I wanted to pop in. I really did. Found it. Amanda Reese is here. What's up? There aren't any medium ground in the shop. Is that so? Let me go look at the shop right now. Let's see. Peak blend, medium roast. Edit. I don't see anything in your shop. Let's see here. Oh, bear with me one second. I want to just see if this... My information here is right. It's a little complicated in here. Ground, medium, shows I have 200 in stock for the medium roast. Is that not showing up on your end? It should be shown when you click on the peak blend medium roast, you should have a, like three different options down below. Whole bean, ground, and French press. There should be three little buttons right there. Is that not showing up? No, I did not, Eric. Good to see you. You made me long. You made me long. Tell me about that name. You made me long. And is, there, is your screen, is it yawning? Is that what's going on? You made me long. Looks like your, your background is grass and the person is yawning. Is that like a, a pun? You made me long. Must be doing something wrong. I don't see anything in your shop. Um, so you went into my profile. So you clicked on my name. You went into the profile and there should be a little button, button that says shop. S-H-O-P. Lawn care enthusiast. Love it. So that's not even your business. You're just an enthusiast. You just like lawns. 
my neighbor growing up was like that. My neighbor's dad, I was always taking care of his lawn, the greenest grass in the town. So I think the whole be the, the ground should be available. It's showing up on my end as available. So if somebody can confirm that can, is the medium roast available in ground on TikTok shop? Because it's showing up on my end. Shows I have 200 available. To go from, it's just a button that looks like a storehouse. I hit 30 and my life revolves around lawn care and smoky meat. You're dominating brother. You are dominating. Yeah, it's just a drop down. So Amy, is that, yeah, is that confirming that ground medium roast is available? Medium roast ground on TikTok shop. Is that what you're confirming? Hello from Indiana. Hope you get all the shipping money back. I hope so too. <laughs> it's a risk worth taking though. Business is, uh, there's no wins without risk, but they say they're going to reimburse me for all the shipping. There's no documentation about that anywhere on their website, but they're, uh, their uh, employee that I spoke with on the live chat assured me, although they assured me that all shipping was going to be free too. We'll, we'll see. Picture shows whole beans. So it threw me off. Gotcha. Yep. Yep. Just one picture, three. Yeah. You can only have one picture there. Ground looks available in both buttons. Thank you. Good morning. It's 53 this morning. 53 this morning is nice. You can see me rocking a hoodie. It's warmer than 53. Though. Thanks to whoever just put in an order on TikTok shop. Appreciate you. So thanks for confirming the, um, that we're, we are in stock on the ground. Thank you for confirming that. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, let's go back to orders. Hello from Indiana. Hope you're well, TL Case. Pulse alarm. So excited to get the super fresh roasted coffee. Couldn't resist 40% off and free ship. Appreciate that. Did you get an order in, Meglectic? I can't see it. There it is. Why did it go to the top? That's weird. All the other orders were going to the bottom. Yours went to the top. I have to keep my eyes out for that. So it looks like you got two thrifting as my cardio bags. Thanks, Meglectic. We'll get you shipped right out. One, two. Two more bags. How many bags do you have now? Like Lectic's just going to store everything and thrifting is my cardio bags. Let's see what you got for a price. $22.80 shipped. So $11.40 per bag here uh, with free shipping. <laughs> That's awesome. We get you shipped right out. Thanks for your support. That's awesome. Bobby's here. What's up? That'll be just three. I like the one I got so much. Had to get more. That's awesome. Thank you. I always get comments online. Thank you, Smokey Mom. Good morning. Thank you for the pandas. The gifts are unnecessary, but boy, I appreciate them. You know who's going to get those pandas. You know who I'm going to give those to. We'll get you on PC about to start taking pictures. Nice. Always on the hustle, Bobby is. Always on the hustle. We don't get plastic bags at grocery stores anymore, so we have to have reusable ones. That makes sense. They said that that's coming to Asheville, too. I think the city of Asheville is going to make that happen. Somebody told me in November, I have not confirmed that though. So don't take that as fact. Megan, you gotta get your steps in. Get your cardio in. Thanks Megan. No plastic bags in Delaware as well. Ours is statewide, gotcha. That would be a, a little too liberal, I think, to be a statewide North Carolina thing. I think they already do it in Charlotte, though. The city of Charlotte. I 
should be in time out, but feeling the urge to use my new bag at Goodwill today. <laughs> nice. I appreciate that. The hustle. Which for me is a bunch. I think I missed something. Which for me, Amy, for me is a bunch. What's a bunch? I think I missed something. Monster Joe's in the house. Good morning, Monster. No plastic bags in parts of Maryland. Do you ever do dark roast? Tubby only does the dark roast beans. I don't have any dark roast at the moment. But we never know what the future will bring. No promises, but we don't have dark roast right now. I appreciate Hubby's taste in coffee, the dark roast. Thank you, Megan. Your bags are on the way. They're going out today. Got another or I think. Is that you again, flipping Rick? Did you get another order? For the folks who live there. Thanks for shipping out so quick. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, Meg. Thank you for supporting my tiny little business. The folks that live where there is a plastic bag ban, how does grocery pickup work? Paper bags. That's interesting. Yeah, that's a great question, Abby, actually. Flippin' Rick, thank you, brother. Got you over on, on TikTok. $8.99 for a bag of coffee. Free shipping. That's crazy. That's less than half of what it would cost if you bought it off my website um, at full price with shipping. It'd be like 21 bucks with shipping. You're getting it for nine bucks shipped. Uh, that's pretty cool. You get a whole bean medium roast. I'm going to ship that out to you tomorrow if that's okay, Flippin' Rick. Uh, we just opened up the last bag of whole bean, but don't worry. Dynamite's roasting coffee tomorrow morning for us. So I'll have you out tomorrow on the whole bean medium roast. I have everything else in stock. Everyone's ordering the whole bean medium roast this morning because I'm out of stock. That's how it works. It's Murphy's Law. What not show was good. I had a lot of fun. Oh, no worries. I had a lot of fun. I had a lot. The setup was a nightmare. It was glitchy as all get out. But once we got into the show, I thought we had a good, good fun. 58 auctions in 55 minutes. Let's go. Good show up, show of uh, support from everyone. Chat was live. I had a good time. If you leave a review of your item, you'll get another coupon. Okay. You heard it from Trisha first. The reviews also helped me out too. Obviously, a lot of people on TikTok shop, you know, they're, we're trying to build, I think there's a lot of people on TikTok who are like, that's the dancing platform. Do I really want to buy something on TikTok? That's the Chinese company. They're stealing our dance moves and stuff. I think there's a lot of people who feel that way. So ha for me, having some reviews from y'all on TikTok shop, I think will make a big difference. I know y'all trust me because you hang out here in the morning, but for random folks that come across one of my videos and are enticed to buy some coffee, having some reviews, I think will help out. That's why uh, TikTok shops putting out all these like 40%, 30%, 25% deals out there because they want to get people comfortable buying stuff on the old tickety talk, the dance platform. Flip and Rick, we'll get your order out tomorrow, brother. Appreciate you. Thank you, Miklectic. Yeah, it was a good time. Paper bags are used when we do online pickup. Cool. Let's go. That's awesome. All good. Thank you, Flippin' Rick. It'll be the freshest coffee you probably ever had in your life. I got a $5 off coupon for a review I left for Happy Pack Mail or Sick, Trisha. They really want to get people using TikTok shop. All right, what do we have that we can ship out here? Literally, I have all these pending orders. Everybody's ordering medium whole bean just because I'm out of it. One, two, three, four, five. I have five orders for medium whole bean just because I'm out of it. But I'll be in stock tomorrow. Don't you worry. But that's Murphy's Law. I think every single order I've got since we went live on TikTok shop, every medium was whole bean. Nobody's ordering the ground. Awesome flip on that R13. Thanks, Mrs. Reisner. Appreciate that. Um, that was definitely a fun find. That went out to um, the story behind that R13 too, is it went out to somebody who hadn't purchased from me before. I don't recognize their name and they won the halftime giveaway. They won the North Face uh, hoodie. So you got to imagine in that R13 ran second to last auction. So you got to imagine that that like winning that item might have had a hand in having that person like stay and be involved in the auction. So it makes me feel like 
you know, like the giveaway was a win. Um, you know, we'd give away at least three things every show. I've given away, I think the biggest giveaway night was like 18 items. So you want to know, like, are these giveaways? Does it make sense? Should I do good giveaways like North Face? And I think in last night's case, I don't know, I didn't like interview the person who bought it, but it was a new buyer. They won the halftime giveaway and came at the end, like we're still there at the end of the show and bought the uh, the R13 for a good price. So, yeah, I don't know. I think that's a success story. Sorry. Nice hoodie. It's right, Amanda Reeds. <laughs> All right. So we got another order over on. I'm not going to keep you busy today. I like it. Don't get me wrong. Another order at chrisfp.com. Uh, thank you, Paige. So Paige has got, let's see. Thank you for your support, Paige. I really, I really appreciate it. Uh, we got one bag of Peak Blend Coffee, the ground, cool. And then we got a thrifting is my cardio bag. Sweet. If you can confirm that. Two bags of the ground, right? Two bags of ground, medium. And one thrifting is my cardio bag. Do we have that right? Thank you, Paige. I have a whatnot question. Can you search across all shows for an item like other platforms? Geez, I don't know the answer to that. I've never tried. It's a good question though. I'm trying to think of how that would work though. It would probably show you like if somebody was live that had that loaded into their show. Hmm. That's interesting. I don't know the answer to that. Paige, thank you for your order. You can do that, South Texas? So what is the, what, would, what would it show you in the search results? Just like anyone who had it in their store, period? Or would it just be people who are live at that given moment when the search was done? All right, Paige, got your handwritten thank you note. Appreciate your business so much. Two bags of ground coffee and a third thing is my cardio bag. Let's see how much this all weighs up. Anyone that has it loaded or has a title in their show or upcoming show, gotcha. There might be a strategy behind that too. All right, so it's gonna be just over two pounds. We can go ahead and put that into a box, I think. Let's do that. Recycled box going out the door to your page. And let's see how we're gonna do this, yep. I wonder how sophisticated the search is. Is it like an eBay search where you can filter by brand, size, pattern, color, or would it just be like you put in North Face and anyone who's got the word North Face somewhere in their store is going to show up? Just kind of curious. So we got a thrifting is my cardio bag and two bags of coffee going to, out to my friend Paige. Thank you for all your support, Paige. Would have been a good fit for like one of those regional boxes that they no longer carry. Let me know down below in the chat if you missed those regionals. So it would be worth cross posting to whatnot like any other platform. I think that's what whatnot's hoping to kind of create by having people have stuff in their store. 
I don't know if that how well that really really does. I've never tested it. anything Amanda from your store just by like kind of cruising through when you weren't in a show sick i don't think so that's cool man you're sick not yet but i just put odds and ends in it nothing too snazzy like peter moore might not be a bad idea to put like uh put some nice inventory in there and price it like you would price it on other platforms might not be a bad idea I, I might file that under uh, things I would do if I had unlimited time. Thanks, Paige. You got a shipping confirmation in your inbox. Appreciate you supporting a tiny little business over here with some coffee and a third thing is my cardio bag. That's like a, that's the, the perfect haul pack. You get yourself some coffee to wake you up and a, and a cardio haul bag to fill up, get your steps in at the thrift store. Just notice it, nice. Having stuff in your store on whatnot, you can easily just add to show like posh. Not sure how that works. I got a bag of clothes from someone and put some of that in there for $5 or less. We will see, nice, what the heck, why not, right? I mean, I always have my merch is always loaded into the store so somebody could just stumble across and buy the merch. I think that happened once. Let's check what's happening on Whatnot Shop. Thanks, y'all, for supporting me on the, the new Whatnot Shop, too. Just opened yesterday. Got a bag of clothes from someone, but I'll get you. All white polo. Nice, man. Okay. Good. Put those out. Let's pivot over. We get some whatnot orders to ship out. Thanks, everyone, for order getting your orders in on chrisatpeak.com and on my new TikTok shop. Let's pivot over to whatnot. Still got some. We did most of the shipping last night, Kim and I did, but we still got some more to ship out this morning. We got actually Brianne, we got your order. If you're still here. Either way, we're gonna ship it out. But all right, we got let me just refresh this. It's not loading up though. That was Valerie. I got a bag of TikTok shop. Just gonna mark this order as shipped in Depop really quick. I forgot to do that. And we'll leave this person positive feedback. I wish I could automate it like eBay. 
Can't wait to get my taco shirt. We shipped out your taco shirt last night. Thank you, Trisha. That's a fun shirt. Definitely fun shirt. All right, Depop is done. Back to whatnot. We refreshed. All right, we got two items going out to Brianne. Thank you so much. This is another package going out to Brianne. We just sent you something yesterday. We got. Thank you so much for your support. Brianne's got an Adidas polo. I thought this is a really nice shirt. The pattern on this. I'm biased, of course. I picked all these things out. Adidas golf polo and a polo Ralph Warren with a nice like stripe across the front there. And these are going out fly or details. What kind of deal do you work on consignment? Nothing real high end, but good brands. Um, so I'm, right now what I'm offering folks is uh and you gotta reach out to me and I gotta I gotta see the items, but I'm offering people a 70-30 deal. So whatnot's gonna take their percentage, which is 10.9 plus. 10.9% plus 30 cents per, trans per transaction. So roughly it's gotta be, you know, they're gonna be taking about 12%, give or take. So after that 12% is removed, I'm offering people 70, 30, which means you keep 70 and I keep 30. Um, but I'm, very, I'm being really specific on what I'm looking for on those things. So I'm looking for the, the nicer stuff. If you have any questions, I'm looking for the Patagonias. I'm looking for, I'm looking for like the really good big size Tommy Bahama with the bright patterns and stuff. That's sick, Big E. Wow, that's kind of cool, those skulls. Took me a second to see what they are. I like the logo on the front too. That's a slick find, size large. That's a slick summer company right there, brother. Thanks for sharing that. Looking for the good stuff. Get a little thank you card for my friend Brianne. I think I need to order more of these bags. I do. Remind me to order more of the Tyvek bags, please. Over tape too. So Brianne got herself two shirts from the whatnot. And they're going out today. And the idea with that Missy is it's good for, I'm giving you like the better end of the deal in terms of profit. Um, and it's good for me because I bring good stuff into the store, you know. If it was kind of more like low and mid-end stuff, I'd rather find it myself for cheap and make a higher profit, if that makes sense. Than to make a really small profit on a low-end item that I might make a couple bucks off of on a show. And it doesn't really get people excited about the shows for me. I'm giving you the good end of the financial deal. So I want like a good end of like, hey... Wow, Chris has good stuff in his shows, if that makes sense. That's the thought process there. But if stuff sells for like $15 and I'm taking 30% after whatnot takes to percent, you know, it's, at that point it becomes not super, super helpful. But I don't think anybody will give you a better deal than a 70-30 split. When I do consignment, regular consignment, um, I do a 40-60 or a 40-50-60 split, depending on the price of the item. Um I give the uh, I give the consignee either 40, 50 or 60%. I've never given anybody 70% before, but that's because I'm I'm fishing for high-end items that I can put on whatnot that people get excited about to make those whatnot shows. Um, yeah, fun, interesting, and all that. I think you get the idea. Brianne, we're printing out your shipping label right now. You'll get a shipping confirmation in your inbox right about now. If anybody has questions about consignment, just hit me up with a message on TikTok or preferably on Instagram because you can't send pictures on TikTok chat or TikTok messaging. Instagram is better for that kind of stuff, but either way, just get in touch with me. 
No, I definitely want to see the items before I say yes or no. Don't just ship stuff to me. Port the board. Brianne, thank you so much. Two shirts on the way to you. Shipping confirmation in the inbox. And there we go. Got an order for Kway. Kway got himself a pair of torn shoes. He bought these out of the buy it now. He bought himself $150 ultra shoes for hundred bucks. Kway, he also got him that flavor flavor tea. That's awesome. All right, so we're gonna get the 10.5. Where did I put that? This is one of my model shoes. 10.5. Look at that. $150 pair of ultras for 100 bucks. Confirm if these are both 10 and a half before we ship. Yep. Thanks, Kayway. And what did he get? He got the flavor flavor. That's a cool flavor flavor tea. That was the first item of the show last time. We're gonna make a thank you card out to Kayla. Correct. Yep. After the bees. Whatnot takes their cut. Uh, and then we split it up 70 30. This would give you an idea, just some rough math. Say so you send me an item that sells for $40 on Whatnot. Whatnot's going to take $4.66. That's going to leave $35 for you and I to split. You'll get $24.80 of that, and I'll get $10.30 of that. That's how it'll all work out. All right, so this is going to Mr. K-Way. We got 59 ounces to work with. This is what we're gonna do. The 1095, where did that look? Oh, it's right here. We're gonna resize this 1095. You'll see me do this a bunch of times. This won't fit in this. But it will. I just need to fold it. Considering it. How do I do this? It ain't perfect, but it's good.
it'll do. Good enough for government work. That, right? Turned a 1095 into a shoebox. What a hard working man. What's up, Michael? Howdy, T. Georgie. What's up, bud? Just shipping out some whatnot order, shipping out some a Depop order. The, mis the uh, mysterious Depop order. Shipping out a couple eBay orders, shipping out a bunch of TikTok shop orders, shipping out some Chris at Peak.com orders, shipping out a pair of shoes and a flavor fave t shirt. That's my buddy K Way. Thanks, Kayla. Appreciate you. Say hi to Wayne for me. Oh, Michael, you are just a treat, aren't you? You are just a treat. Okay, well, you got a shipping confirmation in your inbox. We got a shirt going out to someone with a screen name Down for Cats. Now, that is a screen name I can get behind. This is our giveaway winner, Down for Cats. Thank you, Anita. Get a handwritten thank you card for Anita. Toy Story. It's this uh, Pizza Planet t-shirt right here, size 3X. Nice little win there. That's how we open the show, a little Toy Story action. A good deal you could build an entire business just doing whatnot shows with other people's items yeah um yeah i suppose you could too but i would like to do both you know i still like getting out and picking and i think i'd wanted to like curate a show with some stuff from like people who can sign it with me and also like mix it in with some stuff that i've handpicked too and what's cool about that is people find different things in different areas that I don't really find. So it kind of mixes up the show nicely, I think, if we combine the two. So I'm excited about it. I think it's a good opportunity. Thank you, Anita. You never know. You come hang out at the Chris at Peak show. You can just show up, tap the screen, tag your friends, tag your mom, even tag my mom and just win a shirt. Zero dollars spent and a Toy Story shirt. Come in Anita's way. Thank you so much. What a battle. You know how I feel about battles, brother. Great job. You've been live for 90 minutes. Don't forget to take a break. That's what TikTok just told me. Don't tell me what to do, TikTok. Looking forward to seeing the R13 shirt unplug. That's awesome. Thanks so much. I just saw your comment. Awesome purchase on that. We were just talking. You won the... Um, let me know if you're still in the chat, by the way. I missed your comment. It looks like it was from a couple minutes ago. Um, maybe 10 minutes ago now that I look. Uh, awesome buy on that. I think I already shipped that one. Yeah, I already shipped that one. Let me know if you're still in the chat. If I come across a Patagonia Hall again, I'll be in touch. Appreciate you. Still here. Unplug, we were talking in the chat. So I think that was your first purchase uh, from me over on Whatnot. Appreciate that. And we were talking, you won the, the halftime giveaway, the North Face hoodie. 
So I was wondering if you had popped into the show, you're like, oh, I'm in the show and I want something cool. Maybe I'll hang out because that R13 shirt came at the end of the, the show. What? How did that work out? Did that like did that win like help you stay or did you did you pop in and notice the R13? Like, how did that all go down? I was still new to whatnot. That was show number 11. You started July the 11th. So I'm just trying to figure out like what's the experience there. Um, did you just pop in from whatnot or are you already a follower here on on YouTube and Facebook and all this stuff? Appreciate you, Thrifty Duckies, Jen. I like the Lululemons too. I never find Lululemon in Asheville. Never, 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 never. Um, I shouldn't say never, but very rarely do I find Lululemon. So if you have Lululemon, I want to consign that stuff too. I just never found it. Saw you thrift TikTok live and heard you say it would be on your show. That's cool. That's a good success story. Well, I'm glad you pulled in that uh, that North Face hoodie too. That's an awesome find. I have never found that brand before. Never, ever, ever. Uh, awesome find. I think you have a pretty good idea of how much that piece is worth. I did auto bid to 60 and would check back and forth. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. Cool piece on that. We got you already shipped out. You're already bagged up. It'll go out today. I shipped you out last night. Kim and I tag team some orders. Not live. I cheated on y'all. I shipped out orders not live, but there was 35. We just had to smash some stuff out. Thanks everyone for hanging out. And we just got out Anita's order. All right, let's drop off. That's my favorite TikTok or whatnot screen name from last night. I need wait, what was it? All four cats shipping. I already forget what it is. I just said it was my favorite and I forget it. Down for cats. That's what it was. Down for cats. Will you do a video about what you learn in authenticating raw these? Uh, probably, yeah. Did I come across a pedigree? Yeah, probably. I don't know if I captured any footage at the thrift store or whatever. Thanks, sir. Have a great day. Thank you. Appreciate it. Stuff's on the way. Shipping confirmation with the tracking numbers in your inbox every Tuesday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time if you want to come hang out. When I do those live thrifts, you never know what you're going to find, just like yesterday. And no matter what, even if I know I could sell it for more on eBay or Poshmark, I'm putting it on that whatnot show just for that same experience that you just had yesterday. So thanks so much. Appreciate you a ton. Hopefully see you next time. Tuesdays, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. Whatnot. we got a great show coming next week. It is loaded with cool stuff. All right. Next up, we got an order for all this, all that. This is a good order right here. It's a new buyer over on whatnot too. All this, all that. Got a three pack going out. Can you return the Roth? I can. Yes. They have a seven day return policy uh, at Goodwill. As long as the sticker or the tag is still on it at the Goodwills of Northwest North Carolina. So I can return those within seven days. So I got to figure out how to authenticate them. Sorry, I couldn't bring the Rothies to the show last night, but I cannot risk selling something. Even if I'm 98% sure that it's real, I can't risk my whatnot account by selling fake stuff on it. That is a, a risky, risky move. So this is going out to, oh, this is Cassie. Thanks, Cassie. I didn't recognize your screen name. All Ali this, Ali that, I think is what it is. So Travis Matthew, 2XL. Uh, golf polo with pineapples. Some of these pineapples might not be right side up. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Some of those might be. I don't know. I'm just saying. Carhartt. Nice pair of Carhartt shorts. If they're fake, I'm reporting that Goodwill for knowingly selling fakes. There you go. There you go. Neglectic or just me can return. Can you teach us what Rothy's are? Um, their shoes here, they're women's shoes. People get all excited about them because this one's brand new. People get all excited about them because they're like this. You can just fold them right over. I don't know why, why women like them. I've never found them before. Not the upside. I don't know. Some of them looked like they might've been sideways. I don't know if they were upside down. So that's a Rothy's right there. I can't educate you much on those shoes. I've never found them before, but those are either real or they're really good fakes. And from what I learned in just some quick reading that there actually are some really good Rothy's fakes. I watched a couple of YouTube videos and they're tough to distinguish. It's not just like, oh, the stitching is not that good or, or when you fold them, they don't fold like the real ones. They, the fakes are like, they're pretty good. 
they're really spot on. Some of them. One of the like the signs that everyone talks about with Rothy's is the fake ones will say made in the USA, but the real ones are actually made in China. All these say made in China. So I can't, that check doesn't help me. Um, so they're at least that good. But that's what everyone has said to me that they're made in China, they're real. But it's like, well, that's not entirely true. That's just one of the checks. All right. So this is going out to my friend Cassie. Cassie, thank you for your support. Nice buys here. Carhartt, Travis Matthew, and a bag of Peak Blend Ground Medium Roast. I don't think so, Amanda Reed. But I don't want somebody to report something as fake, if that makes sense. Especially, like, I have a pretty young account. I, I imagine they might be reasonable with me if it's, like, if I have, like, 10,000 sales or something like that and a lot of good reviews. But I'm still pretty young on there, so... I don't really want to mess around. I mean, I don't want to mess around anyway. I don't want my customers to get something that's not real. Let's face it. Uh, so we got Peak Blend Ground Medium. Thank you so much. We'll get this shipped out for you. And this is going to go in a box, maybe. Let's see, 58 ounces. I think that'll fit in a box. Two pounds is 32, 37. Yep, yeah, we'll put you in a box. Let's see what makes the most sense here. Put you in a shoebox. Shoebox. You might be saying, why didn't you put Kayla's shoes in that shoebox? Well, this shoebox is smaller than the other one. A, a new inbox pair of shoes. It doesn't typically fit in these. The 1095 has bigger dimensions. Organic medium roast coffee roasted fresh every Thursday. Going out to Cassie. Cassie. Bought a fake coach at Goodwill Bomber. That sucks. Sorry about that. I mean, you can't really expect Goodwill to be spot on with authentication. Coffee is my favorite. Thank you, Abby. Any plans on holiday gift sets? I love supporting small businesses. Thank you. I got some ideas. I got to sit down and actually... I mean, that's, that sort of thing's coming sooner than later. So yeah, I got some ideas. I'd like to get, uh, maybe I'll, sh once I get some, um, I always call it, say ideas, go through like a, a, it starts with a notion. And then once you get things concrete, like written down with the details, then it becomes an actual idea. And then you can turn it into a plan. And then, of course you can execute it. So right now I just have notions. But I gotta like sit down and say like, what would this look like? How much would it cost? What would I price it at? 
and what com what local companies might consider working with me. So I've got notions right now. But once I get them to ideas, I'll run them by you. But yeah, I definitely have notions for that. If that makes sense. Drop off. Cool. Thank you, Cassie. You just got a shipping confirmation. It's on the way. You go boss. For some reason, they would not split your order last night into three separate orders. And I just don't know. I don't know why or how or how to fix it or how to change it. But Stephanie, you got three orders coming from you from whatnot last night. And I don't know why. I mean, this one's only, this is only three pounds. So I don't understand why. Anyway, thank you, Stephanie. Obviously, your support is tremendous if I have to ship out three boxes to you. I just don't know why they separated them. Fresh coffee is love. So we got a fresh coffee is love t-shirt going out the door. I got one more medium left in these. Fresh coffee is love. REI convertible pants and a Patagonia shirt. Patagonia, REI convertible pants. And that's it. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Just won free tickets to see Godsmack tonight. Looks like I'm going to a concert tonight. That's awesome. That's so cool, Trisha. I saw Godsmack. No joke. I think it was 19... It might have been like 1998. Would that make sense? I saw them at Blue Hill Park in Worcester, Mass. It was a really hot day in the summer. I remember that. All right. Stephanie with a third thank you card. be my fourth or fifth time seeing them is it still original band members well, i forget the lead singer's name weren't they from mass don't they still live in mass I've gotta get my story straight there i think that that's true i think they're from mass for the most part sully erna sully that's right Aren't they from Mass? Sully is such a Boston name. Sully. I saw them a few months ago. Daytona, I welcome to Boston. Man, if I saw them in 98, 98, was that? That's 20, that's 25 years ago. So what were they? Probably 20 at the time. So now they're like 45. in the scheme of like rock band that's not that old either it's kind of really old. it's a lot of years to be partying like a rock star let me tell you thank you so much stephanie get this uh, shipping label printed out here for you for the most part would that make sense 1998 blue hill park worcester I think it was, uh, they were part of like a, it was one of those shows where a bunch of bands were playing that afternoon and they were like one of the bands. I don't know if I'd call it a festival, I think it was a one day thing. I forget what it was called, I think they did it every year. Is that Yep that he's from Mass or is that Yep? Worcester 1998 makes sense. I think that dude's from Mass. Like, I think they were local. I think it was like a WAAF sponsored concert. I don't know if they still have WAAF, which was like the rock station. Not sure where they're from. You got the Googles. All right. So, if this is right, I just have one more to. 
just got to straighten out with Hunter your address. Once we get your address straightened out on there, Hunter will ship out your order. And that means there should be a Mountain Hardware, an Orvis, a Chaps, and a Vineyard Vines. And that's all that's left. So cool. We got the orders right, y'all. Love that. Google says Lawrence Mass. Yep. Lawrence Mass uh, uh, been a pretty tough town historically. North of Boston, northwest of Boston, very much in the Boston metro. Yeah, yeah. Lawrence, Mass. I need more coffee and I need another water. I'm going to be right back, y'all. Could hear that? Hey, Sister Stephanie. I'm going to see uh, Mom and Dad here in a few hours, I think. You're very, very welcome indeed. I'm missing so much chat over here on Facebook and YouTube. YouTube. Oh, Mother Nature and S Sister Stephanie talking. Hi, Kim. Hello, Kim. Hello, Kim. Hi, Kim. I don't know where she is. She might have gone outside. Hey, hey uh, uh, Stephanie with a flower. Push mama. What's up? All right, we got to move on to eBay orders now. A couple eBay orders. First up, we got this Turtleson. This is a brand. Wow, this under brands I don't find very often. Turtleson Golf Polo. Sold for $23 plus $5.95 shipping. I paid $5 for it at a thrift store. We'll get it shipped out. We're going to print the shipping label through eBay using their discount. It's going to go USPS Ground Advantage. This is going out to Brian. Thank you, Brian. Brian with a Y. His parents were cool. They were edgy. They put a Y in his name. The coffee's kind of to that cool temperature right now, the medium roast, and it's definitely like a lot of chocolate is when it like a lot of chocolate flavor, milk chocolate. Not like a bitter dark chocolate, but like a milk chocolate. Mm, that's delicious. Just a little sweetness. All right, this is gonna go out probably at a 12 ounce rate, maybe eight ounces. Let's go eight ounces. It's the little things in life, like getting that shirt out. Oh, man. Never mind. It went to nine ounces. Crap. So close. Day ruined. How does it feel to have an eight-year-old nephew, bro? I don't know. Fine. Good. Great. I'm happy for him. Get a job, kid. That's the way I feel about it. Just here for the buyer stories. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Brian with a Y. His parents were just a little, you know, they're a little crazy. They're a little hip. They had Brian when he was young. Young love. But Brian got himself a golf polo. He's in uh, Virginia. So it's a nice time of year to play golf in Virginia. He's going to head out with the boys next weekend. He's going to play the round of his life. His buddies are going to buy him Mick Ultras like crazy. They're going to buy him Mick Ultras right off the cart. Mick Ultras at the 19th hole. 
he's not going to have to buy a single beer because he's going to look good in his new turtles and polo. He's going to shoot the round of his life. And his buddies are going to ask him like, hey, man, why's your name got the Y in it anyway? Your parents are a little crazy. He's going to be like, yeah, they're a little crazy. They were young. All right, $4.81 is the shipping label on this. So let's go over the dollars and cents. We haven't done that today. 4 81 I paid $5 at a thrift store for that turtle and polo. It sold. It took 92 days to sell. So I picked it up on June 5th. It sold September the 5th. 92 days. So $23 plus $5.95 shipping. After shipping fees, cost of goods, I made a profit of $15.11. Thank you, Brian. And Brian, thanks to your parents for creating just a, a wonderful Turtleson golfer guy. All right. So next up, we got a three pack going out to Francis. Thank you, Francis. Francis bought three of these LL Bean shirts. I paid $5 a piece for them at the thrift store. I picked up like, I think it was 50 of these at one thrift store. All size extra large, all short sleeve, all cotton, all solid colors. Six different colors, all donated by the same person with the same dry cleaning tag on it. This person had, and I left some behind because they were stained. This person had like 60 something shirts, short sleeve Oxford LL beans. Just every day, pick out a different color. He didn't have to wash his clothes or dry clean his clothes for two months at a time. It's kind of an interesting thing to have like 60 of the same shirts in different colors. Makes me curious. I wish I could meet that person. Anyway, Francis is going to have three different colors in this, and this is going to go out priority, but where's it going to? Figure out what vessel it's going to go in. Did you sell those a lot, or did they? They ordered three individually, and actually I've had a lot of sales of these shirts where people have come on, come in and bought multiple ones, like two or three. I've also had a lot of sales where people have bought one or two, and they've come back and bought one or two, like the repeat buyer. And they're all selling on eBay, it seems like. I've sold a few on Posh, but a lot of eBay orders for these. So this is going out to Francis. He's just a sensible person. He wanted a sensible shirt. He knows these fit. They look good on him. Just a nice business casual short sleeve shirt. It is very, very interesting. 60 of these. He has a job. He likes it. And he scolded me last night when I texted him happy birthday at midnight. Oh, my gosh. He's a good kid. He's a good kid. People go to the dry cleaners here and buy things that are not collected after a certain time. That's a good idea. I like that. They're just plain solid button ups. I wouldn't have bought them except for the fact that I was like, I can just buy six or 50 of these, make six listings because there were six different colors. So it's all it was with six listings, fold them up, ship them out as they sell. So not high profit margin on these, but these sold for $17.95 each. I paid five. So the margin's slim, but Again, it was six listings, so it was just like, you know, six rounds of photos. You know, I photoed six shirts and just listed them up there. So they're taking forever to sell, but I sort of knew what I was getting into with that. These are going up to West Chatham, Mass. West Chatham. Just a sensible, sensible guy is Francis. All right, so what do we got for options here? So I'm going to ship them Ground Advantage, actually. That looks like the best option. It's going to go at a three pound rate. So these are going to be 875 to ship from Asheville, North Carolina up to West Chatham, Mass. West Chatham, that's like the Cape, right? That's Cape Cod, Ch West Chatham. Go ahead and do that. That means they're going to go in a bag. Thank you so much, Casey, for the uh, for the pandas. Appreciate you. It's over 200% profit. It's massive. Uh, I don't know if it's 200%. After fees and all that stuff, I don't think it's that much. But yes, your point remains. It's it's fine. It's okay, Mo. A nickel's a nickel. That's right. Especially when you get three nickels. All right. It's going to go in a 12 by 9 poly bag. They're going to go ground advantage. And they're going Francis. Francis and West Chatham, thanks for hitting my goal, the panda goal. We'll go lollipops. That was just the one it recommended. So, thank you, pandas. Nickel, nickel. Anytime, friend. Anytime, friend. 
friends give friends pandas. All right. Three L.L. Beans. Going to Francis. West Chatham. I think that's good. I don't know if How cool is it up there? It was cool when I started. It's not so cool anymore. It's uh, 80 now. So the sweatshirt's probably a bad idea, but it was cool the earlier. It was in the high 60s when I got started. It seemed like a good idea. It's got to be high 87 today, which is, that's really warm for, for Asheville this time of year. You know how I feel about that. The evenings are cool, though. The mornings are cool. And it's really only that warm for like a couple hours middle of the day. 87 here now. Jeez Louise. That is true, yes. Oops, I think I gotta text somebody and I forgot. One second. Let's check TikTok shop, see if we got any orders that came in over there. We did. We got, oh, no, wait, maybe. No, orders. We drove 69 this morning on the porch for coffee. There you go. That, now we're talking. Just see what. Can't ship that, can't ship that, can't ship that, can't ship that. 95 today, I'm in pen 95, dang. No, 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 no. That's too hot. Not this time of year. It's after Labor Day. You're not even allowed to wear white anymore. And let's check over here. Ship. So we had orders today on... Five, uh, one, two, three, four. On five platforms, eBay, Depop, Whatnot, ChrisAtPeak.com, and TikTok. Mom says she wants to be on the show one morning. She might be tomorrow if they want to. I haven't talked to them. We're going to go up to Dynamite Roasting tomorrow. So they don't know that yet. I haven't talked to them about that. But they're coming with me to Dynamite. So they might be on the show for that. No sunburn. I'm just wearing a hoodie and it's like 80 degrees out. That's probably what it is. All right. So that's all the orders I got for you today. I do have one order going out to a TikTok friend. I'm just waiting for an address from. Let's see if I got the set address. We do. We got it. And we got a payment through PayPal. Thank you so much, Melissa. We'll get your T-shirt shipped out to you. Going down to Texas City, Texas. So this is our last order, I believe. Unless you want to get an order in on TikTok shop. Remember, TikTok shop right now is doing coupons randomly. It depends on the person. 20% off, 25% off, 40% off. Even some people ordered some stuff uh, from my shop uh, that was 50% off with free shipping, which is crazy. So I don't know how long they're going to do those deals. They do it randomly. Those deals aren't offered by me. They're offered by TikTok. But you can get yourself a T-shirt, a thrifting is my cardio bag, or some delicious fresh coffee yeah it'll be fun i think i like it jason thinks he's funny today and he's live nice <laughs> he's always funny he's always funny mommy mama bear i gotta be honest with you that dude makes me laugh yeah my parents are great if that's who you're talking about they're awesome currently 80 degrees in knoxville and 74 percent humidity it sounds about what it is right here abby Sounds really similar. It's saying my phone's saying it's 80 right now. Let's get this order shipped out. So what yesterday at the thrift store, I found this uh the mountains are calling. I don't want to unfold it. The mountains are calling and I must go. And it's got a little like mountain scene. It's upside down with the sun and stuff. So this is shipping out to Melissa. Really cool shirt. She saw it during the live thrift, so it's hers. 
She reached out to me. Gave her a nice deal on it. Thank you, Melissa. Mama Barry, are you going to help out t tonight with the, the Whatnot Live? Are you going to be on the ones and twos, or how's that working? Are you tag teaming it? Thank you, Nessie, for joining. Welcome aboard. Just shipping out the last of the orders. Go check out that TikTok shop if you go to my profile and click shop. You're probably going to see that you have free shipping and crazy deals like 25% off or 40% off or even 50% off. I don't know how long that will last, but if you like coffee or if you want to get yourself a thrifting is my cardio haul bag, now might be the time to do it. All right, we'll get you shipped right out of here, Melissa. What was the coolest thing you found uh, this week? Definitely that R13 shirt that I found yesterday at the thrift store. Uh, it sold last night, I think for $77. And it was funny, the person, they came in on YouTube. They came in for the shipping lab a little while ago and they said that they had seen me pick it up during the whatnot or during my TikTok live yesterday. They saw the live thrift. And they wanted to buy the shirt, so they, they heard it was going to be over on Whatnot. So they came over to Whatnot. At halftime, they won a North Face. And then uh, they ended up winning that shirt at the end of the show. I think it was the second to last item. So kind of a cool story of like the success story of that thrift table idea where I go live thrifting and I tell people, hey, if you want any of this stuff, it will be up on Whatnot tonight for a fuck. So that person who never heard of me before went into the live thrift saw it and said, man, I want some R13. Really rare find. They sell for like $650 brand new. If you find R13, I don't care what size it is, what color, what material, as long as it's in decent condition, I would pick that up. Mostly, yes, I'm going to a baseball game with Jason's whole family. Gotcha. So are you going to be at the baseball game during the show or how's that working out? Your first whatnot shows, did you sell stuff at a dollar? Your first, um, I've, think I've sold like a couple items, like one or two items that sold for like a buck or two bucks. My first show, two shows were probably a little bit different experience than a lot of people's first two shows because I, um, I built up a lot of trust on social media and I had a bunch of people from, from TikTok and Facebook and YouTube kind of come and show up for the show and support me. Um, so I had, I don't know, like 180 people in my first show, but that's not like a normal experience. And that doesn't mean that other people can't grow to that. Usually it takes like three months to kind of get to that sort of level uh, on whatnot. So I sort of skipped that part. Um, but, you know, that's one advantage of, of having a social media following. But I also worked for that social media following. I've been live every single day since uh, early November, shipping out my orders, just talking about the nitty gritty of this business, doing all these live thrifts. I've been creating content on these platforms for over three years, showing every aspect of the business. So it's yeah, built up trust. So people came over, they showed up and they, they supported me and I'm really grateful for it. And that's, uh, that's fun. But yeah, typically it's got to take some time to build. Uh, I think in the whatnot onboarding, they tell you three months, you know, so it's like sell stuff. Maybe you're not getting the price you're looking for, but you're building up a following. You're bringing inventory, uh, consistent inventory to people. You're putting on like a show that gets better and better. You get kind of smoother with the technology. You get better at putting on a performance um, and people come back. They get good deals. They like it. They win stuff. Um, they get great packages with great inventory that was well described and they come back for more. And before you know it, you've grown up a crowd on whatnot. 
three months in and you start getting like market value for items instead of going below market value. I made it. He made a shirt for you. Look on Insta if you can. Oh my gosh. Putting your time in so you get the rewards. And believe me, I have good shows and bad shows too. Sometimes I have shows where I'm like, wow, I just gave away a lot of stuff. And that's, but you got to push through that. You got to be grateful and just know that to me, I tell myself whenever people get things for like half of what market value is or something, I'm like, man, my first response is that went really cheap. But now I'm like excited for those people because they got a deal. And I'm also excited for me because if people get a deal, if they get good inventory, good clothing, good items, whatever you sell, if they get good stuff for good prices, those people are going to come back. If they win stuff and they're excited about it, those people are going to come back, right? And that's what it's all about is just building return, repeat business. What not's way more about repeat business. It's more like a Main Street USA store than it is like eBay or Poshmark where people are searching all over. People are coming to your show for your experience. And if they've had a good experience with your show before, they're more likely to come back for more. So that was a little bit of a lecture. You didn't ask for all that stuff, but I feel like somebody raised the topic of whatnot and about getting started. So I figured I would share some of that because there's other people in the chat who could benefit from it, perhaps. But I'm no expert on whatnot. I'm only 11 shows in. You're putting in the time so you will get rewards out. Thank you, Mother Nature. You also need have to have a good shirt spin. Shirt spin's key. I was crushing the shirt spins, I think, last night. I'm just going to say that right now. Oh, I'm going to sh get this shipping confirmation over to Melissa. Melissa, I'm going to send this to you in a message through TikTok so you can track your package. This is USPS tracking. All right, I got to go to Instagram. That's the deal. I gotta find buried. Buried D. There's like a bunch of buried treasure. I'm not able to find them. What is he on Instagram? There's like a ton of buried treasures. I can't find them. Oh, look at the message. Chris at base. I sent him a message the other day. It's Chris at Valley. Chris at base. That's funny. <laughs> what a goofball. Thank you, Trisha. Done listening for now. Nice job, Biggie. You own shirt spins. That's going to become like a a thing on whatnot, maybe shirt spins. Yeah. What's the thing of venture into mentoring people, running courses, classes? It depends what one wants to do. We are all different. Well, this is it he could venture into. You're a great teacher. You're putting in. Thanks, y'all. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right. I'm all shipped out. I think I'm done. I'm going to double check TikTok shop, see if anyone got in, in on there for deals. Cool. We're all shipped out. We're up to speed. He already ended his live. Nice. Thank you, Tricia. Thanks, everyone who came and bought something last night and whatnot. Thanks for everyone who just came out to support the show. Tap the screen, tag your friends, tag your mom, tag my mom. I appreciate that so much. We'll do another whatnot show next Tuesday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. If you haven't bookmarked the show, give me a bookmark. That helps me out. It helps get more people into the show. And the more people I get, the more bookmarks, the better inventory I can bring, the more giveaways I can do. Because I know more people are coming to the party. If I get more RSVPs, I'll cook more food and bring more booze. So, Please bookmark that next show. It helps me out. You got a couple of great whatnot shows tonight. You got like three whatnot shows. You got Barry D tonight. Uh, Wednesday means Lion Creek Boutique. <coughs> and also Sarah K is doing a later night one. I forget what time hers is. 10 o'clock, I think. 10 o'clock Eastern. So a lot of great whatnot shows tonight. We can get yourself some good inventory. Have some laughs. Good people. Oh, my. Barry D is running 160 items tonight on whatnot. I don't know how the heck he's going to do that. It's probably going to take like three hours. But maybe he's got a plan. I don't know. 
Thanks everyone for your support today and always. We'll see you again tomorrow. I don't know what time I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know if it'll be 9.30 or what. We're going to go up to Dynamite and we're going to do a live stream from there so you can learn about the summer or the fall seasonal coffee that we're launching tomorrow. So tomorrow will be the first roast of the fall seasonal. And uh, it's from Honduras and you can learn all about it. The family that grows the beans, all that stuff. I'm going to be live some point in the morning tomorrow. I just don't know what time. When I know, I'll, I'll put it out on socials if I know the time, but just look for your notification when I go live. And that'll only be on TikTok tomorrow. I'm not going to carry my laptop up to the roastery, unfortunately. So new coffee. It's right, Carolyn. I'm excited about the new coffee and I haven't tasted it yet. It's actually, they just started roasting it this week. Uh, so when I was there last Friday or last, I was there last Thursday, uh, they hadn't roasted any of it yet. So nobody had tried it even up there yet. So we'll get to taste it for the first time this week. Probably tomorrow. Actually, I'll taste it tomorrow while I'm up there. Duh. Drinking some gummy right now. Mmm, delicious. I love drinking gummies. Peace, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow at some point. You know, I appreciate you. I hope you have a good day. I hope you find some cool stuff if you're out and about. And I hope sales are awesome. Peace. <laughs>